And last night I ended up buying a few books on Amazon related to comedy. And the first one I'm diving into is Get Started in Stand-Up Comedy by Logan Murray. It tells you to do one of these exercises just to get your mind flowing. And there's various things here like draw a Venn diagram, detailing your recent dating history, give directions to a pub across town as if you were a functioning alcoholic. I could probably do both of them, but the one I'm gonna go for, the one I'm gonna try now, write a list of your top 10 favorite films of all time and why they are your favorites. So I've got eight already, Coming to America, Gladiator, Thor Ragnarok, Rocky II, Die Hard, The Bodyguard, Hunger Games, Captain America 2, Winter Soldier. I've got two more spaces. I'm doing a comedy course and I've just blanked out all of the greatest comedy movies. And the two which have made this list is Happy Gilmore. Adam Sandler made some amazing comedy movies back in the early days. The, the later stuff, not so good. Funny, heartwarming. It's about sport, it's about golf, it's silly. There's even a little bit of Lionel Richie in there, so that's definitely in there for me. And then Anchorman, Ron Burgundy. So funny, so many memorable moments, so many ad libs, you know, things like the, the Sex Panther aftershave and I like lamp. Evening, good evening, good evening, and indeed it is a fucking cold evening outside. The Royal George was where I spent Tuesday night to see a bit of stand up comedy. I did it because I've got to go and perform there myself a week on Tuesday. It's part of their bringers night. So normally for a lot of these open mic nights, you've got to bring someone with you so you can perform. Or you can go to one of their other nights before you perform. So you become, you bring your own bringer. So I did that this week on Tuesday at the GMB Comedy at the Royal George. It was a good event. It was a long night. There were a lot of acts. Didn't finish till at least 11 o'clock, starting at about 7.45. Really interesting things to think about, in particular the way people start their acts. Some started with a few rhymes to really get you thinking. One lady did a little karaoke thing because she was Japanese. Very funny. Also what I found interesting was one guy called Dave Black talking about his interracial relationship. I've been in an interracial relationship in the past, oh, and now. <laughs> I think that's that's something that I, I should perhaps bring into my set. I'm not sure how to work it, but he did a really good job of it. So lots of things to think about. Not too much comedy for me this week, a little bit of writing, but I've mainly been getting ready for my big 10K run a week on Sunday. Am I ready? <laughs> I don't think so. I'm pretty hungry from dieting for this 10k run and I've just had my dinner, I'm still hungry and I don't really have anything I can really eat. And then uh, I also can't have any coffee or tea because I can only have two caffeine drinks a day and I've already had one. But I went into the fridge and I saw this apple and I don't know why I'm telling you this but I went, Hello Apple, hello Richard, hello Apple, hello Richard! Yeah, I've still got my coat on. I've uh, just been walking in the rain, just kind of singing Celine Dion. Uh, I can take the hood off now. I don't know if you noticed where I said uh, I used to be in an interracial relationship. Oh no, I mean I am. Uh, I think that's because I knew that my current relationship was ending and this morning at 6.45 in the morning before I went to work it did. I think it was the right decision but obviously none of this is, is ever nice, it's ever fun and I think it would actually be quite good if I just wrote some of this down and maybe I can make a set, maybe I can make a joke and in fact what would be quite good is my next gig is on Monday, uh, I think it's called January Jolly so I'll confirm that on the later part of this video. And I think a, a good target would be to do five minutes of stand-up all around my breakup. Oh, I'll take water. Thank you.
So it's the day after the 10K winter run. I'm here in Shadwell, getting back on the comedy scene at the George Tavern, Jollies at the George. Will everybody get whooping and clapping for the wonderful Richard Park? So I'm back in Clapham, having just done the gig. Jollies at the George. I think it went pretty well. Uh, the location was interesting. I know I commented on the toilets at the Grove for having a poster, but wow, look at this place. What have I got myself into? Ultimately, I thought the gig went well, met some really nice people. One person actually did similar material to me in dating apps and chip-based humour. She says, yeah, I love chips. All kinds of chips. McCain's, KFC, Burger King. And so I thought, well, I can make a joke here. Even Chippendales. <laughs> she laughed. Uh, it was the first date, remember? <laughs> let's, let's try again. Even microchips. <laughs> that didn't compute. <laughs> One thing I was particularly proud of was that I did two things which I've not done before. One is to do a gag related to the room. Pretty sure the Led Zeppelin song is Stairway to Heaven, not Stairway to Harrow and Wildstone. <laughs> or perhaps we're already here. <laughs> Which I did because there were these fluffy clouds hanging from above. And another one was that I referenced one of the previous acts and he was also still in the crowd, the guy who also did the chip-based humour. So I was really pleased with that. Ultimately, I'm pretty happy and I did do two thirds of a new set kind of related to my breakup as depressing as it sounds I made a bit of light relief out of it after all <laughs>